actually not locked, so I'm excited. But as y'all can see, my head is really super curly. But the shrinkage be real. Hold on, let me take this out so I can show y'all. This is how they hang normally. If you put them down. When them hoes drop, you ain't better tell me nothing, okay? Nathaniel. Nathan. Alright, you can see, I think it's starting to bud. I don't know, but I think that's what that is. But I'm excited, yeah. Yeah, I gotta retwist it. It don't really look like dreads, but. Wait till I get there and be peppin'. So yeah, I'm like almost halfway there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm almost there. I'm just got this little bit there. Take a good out. My cheek Oh, bruh. Bang, bruh. Ooh, y'all didn't tell me nothing. What is it? It's March the 2nd. So, two months, I think. I'm two months in my life journey. Yeah. I'm fucking good. Ooh, these bros. So yeah, I'm finally done retwisting my hair. It was a little rough. It's still wet and stuff, so I got to sit under the dryer. But yeah. Just cleaning up mopping and stuff. Uh, oh, finally about to head to the gym right quick. Then I gotta go drop off my car to get my new tires. Oh yeah, yeah. So God came down and blessed my life early this morning. I'm talking like 4:30 a.m. I get a phone call from the hospital. We closed. <laughs> hey, God knew. But we closed, y'all, because the weather advisor could have wind whipping. I'm scared I'm going to step out here in the damn wind going to whip my phone off the damn tripod. And I don't even know my car parked it. Watch how I went out the wrong side. Y'all hear that? That's the wind. It's a beautiful day, huh? It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. When I come back from dropping my car, I'm gonna come home and glow up. Day. I know the higher ups pissed off like this is some bullshit. We could have had their ass at work. Nope, we're off. Sorry. It is such a beautiful day though. My husband told me that our dog shit in the fucking parking garage on the way to his shit spot. Taking a little elbow grease to pull the window closed. I meant the door closed. But yeah, I hit y'all when I get back from the gym. I'm looking like a whole dude. 
but it's all good come my skin looking straight though and i ain't even moisturize it y'all can see because the shit keep drying up but i don't really moisturize my face when i go to the gym like i'm about to sweat i don't know that's just y'all since i'm off the day it feel like it's saturday whoa it feel like it's saturday instead of um friday that's good though because i gonna feel like i got an extra long weekend or something Shit. Hold on, y'all. Let me get this together. I know some of y'all probably were like, oh my gosh, she is so dusty and she's showing herself online. But this is just me. No moisturizer. No nothing. Um, Yeah. And I ain't ashamed because this is me. Because you're going to leave this earth. Well, some people do leave the earth for makeup. You do get makeup. You know, you die. I mean, I guess it's your preference. But shit. Whatever. I think my skin look good enough to not have to wear makeup when I step out the house. Like, right, what does that even mean anyway? Have to wear makeup. You don't have to do shit. You know? I've been, this has been a good week though, as far as productivity for my channel. I've been trying to stay consistent. It is day five on MA30, and the MA30 day challenge, and I'm feeling good. I'm seeing results, I think. <laughs> nah, I'm seeing results. Um, I got my uh, true nutrition nutrition lord jesus <laughs> i got my true um vegan protein yesterday and uh, i let my husband pick the flavor and yeah that shit disgusting the flavor he picked i should have known not to get it because nobody was raving about it under the comments they was raving about the strawberry and a couple more flavors, but none of them were raving about the blueberry muffin. And it's probably just me. He said it don't taste too bad. But I don't like protein, period. So, and vegan protein is like, it tastes like chalk to me. I can't fuck with it. But I pay $50 for it. So, it's going down. <laughs> But like when I go to Tropical Smoothie and shit, like my husband, he always get protein added to his uh, smoothie. And I be trying to do the right thing because we know we need protein. But it just don't, it take this whole taste off of my smoothie. And I can't even drink it. Yeah, this, this wind is like moving my car. It's subtle because you can't see it in the camera, but I can feel it. I was gonna do something dumb and try to hold my hand up <laughs> and see could y'all see it like moving me. I'm so damn dumb sometimes. Oh yeah, but it's day five. So the first week is all the same meals. You can't deviate from the same meals every day. Um, so I made it five days now. Well not five days. Today is the fifth day, so I'm almost made it five days through that. And I'm feeling good. I'm already... You get a cheat meal every week. Well, I don't know if you get a cheat meal, but you can have a cheat meal every week. <laughs> Some people may not going to use that, but I'm going to use my cheat meal probably tomorrow. And I'm going to plan it out. It's going to be something good. Something real good. I can't wait. And then... Sunday, I'll be doing the same thing I've been doing the rest of the week as far as meals. And then Monday starts a new week of meals, different different kind of meals. I think it's like kale and quinoa and sweet potato, some shit like that. But I'm excited. Almost one week down in this full week challenge. So continue to put
push through and not quit because I think one of my biggest downfalls with my fitness in the last prior year or two since I've been my um, since I've been in my best shape probably like two three years ago the biggest downfall I feel like has been my uh, willpower willpower to be consistent and stick to something like I'll do something for three days and then like <laughs> let my friends be like bitch you want to go eat damn right bitch you want to do that yep yeah, fuck that I ain't I can miss the gym today. I can have this meal that day. You know, and there's a cycle of that, a cycle of that. You turn around and, honey, you, um, well, I'm at now, fat as hell. Struggling to get it off. But it's coming off slowly but surely. Don't worry. I will be summertime fine. All right? <laughs> I let you get on top. I'll be the underline. I'm trying to get beside you like the number nine down. You find this hit. Now, let me hit y'all back. I'm about to go in the gym because I'm already late. Yeah, so I ran from the gym to the Dollar Tree because it's a close thing to my house with paper towels. And I need some paper towels. And what happens, y'all? Look, the power out. <laughs> so I'm about to have to go because they registered down. So, fuck it. We're about to record something for you guys. I'm not getting it. And Isaiah not having it. Because he want to drink. And no, because I'm not going to look like a bad parent. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm trying to record this video. I'm trying to do this girl tutorial. I ain't got none of the colors that she got. <laughs> I don't wear eyeshadow no more here trying to do a cut crease, bitch. But I'm going to do my own little look inspired by her. And we're going to see. Okay, so Jane, far, go I'm ugly as fuck. <laughs> but we're going to get it pop. Oh, this is so horrendous. Oh, my God. Look, I would never going to wear like this in fucking life. I'm going to finish, though. Yeah, so this is the atrocious look that I came out with. Yeah, y'all gonna see what it was supposed to look like. FYI, I would never fucking wear this look ever. In fucking life. Ever. Anywhere. Ever. Yeah, so tell me why I done came out to be a productive citizen of America early in the morning so I can hurry up and get my food so I can meal prep for the week. I get to the register of orders, I done ring up everything, and I get the filling from my pocket. Girl, I ain't got a wallet the first, nothing. I'm out here riding dirty. <laughs> so I got to head all the way back home. I told the man, please just leave it exactly how it is. I don't want to reach the shop for that shit. And then I had to go across the street to Walmart. I had to go all the way down the street, back home, about 12 minutes, get my wallet, come back, purchase that, bag that, go to Walmart, and then come back. That's just too much, but I'm dedicated. We're going into week two today. Today is day eight, seven, eight. Eight. Yeah. Eight? Nah, I think it's day seven. I don't know, but we're going to go in this week strong. That's just bad energy trying to bring me down early on this Sunday morning, but we're going to start the week off strong, and that's it. All right, y'all. I'll, I'll hit y'all back later. Y'all, I don't have my tripod with me this morning, so the camera might fall down and around stuff, so, but I just had to come on here to tell y'all that I'm growing as a person. No, for real, though. Every day I feel myself growing, like, with maturity. Because this morning has really been just trying me. So, first, I told y'all, I left my wallet at the house. And I got to the register. I was like, sir, can you please hold this for me? Like, I'll be right back. He said, okay, no problem. So, I run to the house. 12 minutes down, 12 minutes back. So, about 30 minutes, let's say. I get my wallet. I come back. I see my buggy. I bring my buggy around. This lady opened up a lane on three, told me to come. 
I rang up my groceries. I forgot my bags in the car. So I was like, forget it. I'm going to just bag my groceries outside. So I walk out the store, start bagging my groceries. Sorry, y'all. Start bagging my groceries, and this man come outside. I guess their manager. He's like, um, excuse me, ma'am. Basically asked me, did I pay for my groceries? I said, I don't steal. I have no reason to steal. She was, he was like, um, the lady said she suspended your thing, suspended your order, and you're supposed to come back and pay. And I said, and I just left the register and paid. He was like, well, do you have your receipt? And everything in my soul, y'all, wanted to go off on this man. And I didn't want to pull out my receipt because I don't have to. I just paid my stuff. Roll your cameras back or fucking check your register on three and see, did you not just have a transaction for $77.25? That's what you do. But I didn't. I just pulled out my receipt and I told him, I continued to tell him, I have no reason to steal. I don't steal. Like, if I was going to steal, I would have stole the fucking groceries the first time. I wouldn't have went home and got my fucking wallet for what? If I'm a thief, bitch, I steal this whole fucking store. But no, I didn't do that. So I showed him my receipts like, oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. I don't know why she told me that. I don't know why the fuck she told you that neither. I should own this bitch, matter of fact. Y'all, I'm growing. I'm growing as a person. But sometimes, so I, I know I'm growing and I know I know how to um, handle situations without spazzing out and stuff. I've been doing that for a couple years. But what's really eating at me now more than, more than, um, before I think is not having the gratification of spazzing out on people because a I know that's not the right thing that they do so I don't and stuff and I know it's not worth it and all that good stuff but a lot of times I feel so tried and I don't get that instant gratification of going off on these people and putting them in their place so I think that's gonna be my mission for this month is just really taking the high road like I've been doing and being okay with it because it really stings in my soul a little bit when I don't get to go off on people that deserve it like you're not gonna fall okay first of all this is first if I have made it out of your store with $77 worth of shit and I am now at my car and been out here for a good seven minutes don't follow me out the store don't follow me out the store because at that point it's stolen bitch like it's gone and if i was a thief you think i'd be in the back of my car bagging the shit no come on now use your brain i can't stand when people act dumb but yeah sorry i'm gonna get off my damn soapbox y'all but that's my mission for this month is to be okay with being the bigger person or taking the higher road or being mature because it really eats at me when I don't get to spaz out on people that deserve it.